Today we're going to be going over uh, the arm. So uh, let's start off real quick. First and foremost, we're going to have your deltoids, which I said in my, uh, I believe in my torso tutorial, whatever. The deltoid has three muscles front muscles, middle muscle, and back muscle. Moving down, we have our biceps. Right here is our triceps. One muscle that some artists forget is actually the middle muscle right here where the middle deltoid goes, goes into, which is your brachialis muscle. Right there. Going down, we're getting into the forearm, which I absolutely hate. Because when I always used to draw, it's real anal about my drawing, so I'd always try to know every single bone in the, what do you call it, in the, the forearm. But when I got down to it, I noticed that it really wasn't necessary to know every single bone. Because the average person is not going to be like, oh, you figure out to draw this, I mean, not every bone, every muscle. Because the average person, like I said, is not going to be like, oh, you forgot to draw this muscle right here. You know? So as long as you get the basic definition of it, you're gonna, you can add muscles. I'll probably make a vid and, you know, the easiest way of adding muscles. But I'm going to color code this later so you can see what I'm talking about. Get it from the front side. As you can see, the deltoid kind of wraps around the biceps right here. Got your bi, brachialis, and right here. Got the bone. You see, got the humerus coming out right there. Shoulder, elbow. Just of it, right? And of course, the chest would be right here. Let's draw that right there so you guys can see striations. The chest right here. And the tries the, the trapezius kind of wedges into the to the delt. It's actually a bone right there called your uh, acrom acrom what is it acrom acromion acromion get all those freaking technical terms but your collarbone is right here your acromion is right there little gap right there like I told you guys you got your chest muscle wedges in depending on of course the muscularity of your character you're going to be able to see it or not see it let's color code this so you can see what I'm talking about this for the front delt. Let's see, purple for it. Oh, can't see that. Purple for the middle. Oops. Off it. Too skinny. There. Really can't see the back delt in the front view, so no point in coloring it. This for your biceps. One thing to make your character look even bigger, that's the look you're going for. Most people tend to, to make the biceps real, you know, real, well, damn, real huge. Which is alright, you know, I'm not, I'm not down in it or anything. But actually, the biceps is only two muscles as opposed to the triceps which of course is three muscles so if you really want to make your character look good big I advise you know making that uh, what do you call it that tricep a lot bigger than your bicep but it is your character you do as you wish let's go down here 
first deltoid, second deltoid, or your middle deltoid, back deltoid, shoulder muscles, biceps, biceps, you can also actually do striations across like this, well not like this because it's pretty bad striations, but on your character, you can actually even define it and actually represent, you know, show the actual two, the two muscles which make up the biceps, if you want to do that. Now, back to the Alice, Q Alice muscle, which is the middle muscle, which the middle deltoid goes into. Now, for the forearm, don't freak out, guys, but just main muscles you need to get in order to get the representation for the forearm. This muscle right here is actually two muscles. Many artists, if you've seen comic books and other uh, drawings, they draw them as one. Just combined. And this is your brachioid, brachioid dialis, dialis, brachioid, brachioid dialis muscle. Just draw them as two muscles, right here. Actually, two. your Dallas muscle. Now, the next big muscle you want to get to show that you have some knowledge of the anatomy, to show you have a good, you know, decent form, is that muscle right there, which is your flexor carpi radialis. All the muscles in between, to tell you the truth, are just pretty much strands of muscles. I mean, I'm not going to go over, you know, like your, let's say your extensor carpi radialis brevis, for your abductor, pollus, and all this other crap, because it's, it's really not important. As long as you get those two main muscles, draw your character. As long as you get this muscle right here, you break your dialis, dialis or whatever, pretty much fine. And your uh, flexor carpi, I say you're pretty much set. I mean, once once you know how the muscles flow, you can pretty much, I, like I said, you can add your own muscles once you get to that point. Just adding, you know, your deltoid. You know, your deltoid has three main major muscles, so you know you can just split these up into sections, get more definition out of them striations across them, blah blah blah, so forth and so on. That's pretty much it guys for the arm. Of course your triceps is three muscles. You got your long head and your short head. Let's see we're gonna draw from the back right here. See this is your shoulder. You terus major, minor, infraspinatus, whatever. That's your short head, or you can say inner head and outer head, whichever is simpler for you guys. This right here, this is a tendon. Right here, the tendon goes down. Blah blah blah. Muscles, so forth and so on. Right here your long head. Right here is your short head. Right in here. So like I said, triceps three, that's your medial head. So let's color these in. Sorry guys, I'm running out of colors. Let's color them in. Let's see what I'm talking about. Right here. Long, short, and medial head for your triceps. And uh, that's pretty much it for the arms. Probably going to move down to the legs with the next move. Any questions, just comment. I'll further explain. But uh, let me see.
see if I missed anything. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. That's it, guys. Later.